Hello from Finland. My name is Mia Petra Kumpulanatri and I'm member of the European Parliament in SD Group. I'm very honored to come to speak to you in this event. As your report, European Youth and Climate Justice, it was very inspirational to read. The urgency of the climate change varies as all, and but especially young people. But what really made me very hopeful when reading the report was that you have proposed so many concrete actions to tackle the climate crisis, so we can be hopeful for tomorrow. And indeed, I hope this report receives attention from the political decision makers today, and I hope you will be those of tomorrow. First, I must say that the world is a better place today than it was a couple of weeks ago. The next president of the United States will be Joe Biden bringing the US back to the cooperation tables. This certainty is a big issue for climate change, uh, as the President Trump made U US to leave Paris Agreement, and it was global agreement that we wanted to act together. Now US will join again, and the global fight against climate change will be better. Also, President-elect Biden aims that US would be carbon neutral by 2050, and it's already investing on that. And the Chinese promise to be carbon neutral in 2060 also gives us hope, all of us living in the same planet. Now back to the European Union and how we will make the deal here to come uh, climate neutral by 2050. Actions are needed now. What is well pointed out in your report is that to save our planet, we need to be able to transform our economy and the whole society. Here we talk about the systemic uh, change. Our economy has been based on the fossil fuels and the link between economical growth and the fossil fuels has been too clear. Now this is, has already started to change and EU has taken clear steps on the right direction and decouple all and all economic growth from the greenhouse gas emissions. EU gas emissions are now 25% less uh, compared to the 1990, while over the same period our economy has grown by 62%. This is important for the uh, justice and fair transition as the economic, uh, economy needs to be also in the focus. Now we need to speed up this process, economic growth without uh, disturbing our nature and climate. Systemic change also means that we must reformulate how we consume, how we work, how we travel, how we produce products like the food we eat. I think Green Deal of this parliamentary and commission term offers good opportunities for the change. Even it doesn't happen by this clicking the fingers, we must be aware all the time of the needs we, uh, ch uh, changes we need. First, we need to set ambition target for the reducing climate uh, greenhouse gases. Commission proposed the target to be at least 55% to, uh, to 2030, whereas Parliament has already uh, uh, emphasized its aim to cut emissions by 60% compared to the 1990 to 2030. And that has been written in the climate law proposal uh, from the Commission and uh, now emphasized in the Parliament opinion. Second, uh, we need to be able to transform our economies truly circular. This means that the once waste it doesn't necessarily need to be waste, but it is another's raw material. And this principle must be taking account in every stage of the production from the design to end use. And you name the sector that could avoid it. Think about the win-win. It seems crazy how much materials are wasted in today's world and in so many sectors. Also, we need to demand products that can be repaired. Thirdly, we need to change our energy production to the cleaner and more efficient. This means massive investments needed 
to clean energy and renewables. But the price has been promising and going down for the clean technologies. It means that we must start uh, integrate our energy system so that there is no waste of energy and it can be better used cross sections, not energy production separated from the transport and separate from the houses we need to warm up or the light we have to uh, have in the evenings, especially up here in north. So also consumers must be taken on board and produce. They can be producer and at least every sector active participants. I really welcome the idea by young by widening the way we measure welfare. GDP is too narrow if we want to actually take account all aspects of well-being, like uh, health or environment and well-being in all and all of uh, us people. So. What we measure is a basis for what decisions we take, and that's why I think new tools and thinking are needed. Among the young, there is a strong requirement for just, fair and inclusive transition, and I can fully agree. It made me happy to read this. This is definitely a question of values. We cannot leave some people behind or uh, on the green transition because it's not the right of only some of us to have the decent living or healthy food or uh, sustainable nutrition. To gain support for the actions needed by the politicians too, we must have public opinion on our side on these actions. And to make just a transition just will bring more people on board. One issue that I want to raise is the fact that young people clearly emphasize EU needs to be active on the international arenas and impact globally. We need to make sure that human rights are respected uh, and the value chains from the third countries are also sustainable. Young people also worry that we will transfer our CE2 to, uh, to the third countries and clean our, only our own economies. What I would like to really propose here is a solution that actually start monitoring our own consumption based emissions. Now our monitoring scope is regional EU and leave out emissions from the imports that we actually consume the things in EU. We must monitor and make take account these uh, emissions if we wish to genuinely be carbon neutral by 2050. Also EU trade agreements needs to be used to advance the climate targets. It's already agreed among the Commission and Parliament and Member States that the Paris Agreement needs to be made essential uh, element on the all future EU trade agreements. I think this is a climate this climate justice report has created added value to the political discussion and provided solutions that are right now needed. Covid has caused a huge health crisis, but also our economies suffered and uh, the, uh, many has lost their jobs. Among the young people, unemployment is getting more and more worrying. We need to be uh, place the green transition and climate justice to the heart of the recovery process. And I believe there is now opportunity for the big change and I'm very happy to see you are on board. Thank you for this great opportunity to participate. And by the way, greetings from my uh, summer house. This is an old, old log house, uh, uh, over 120 years old, built on, on the natural materials, uh, logs. And because it's built according to nature, what nature requires, it is still in good shape. We can learn back from the uh, former generations also.